He likes to go like a train, like a lot of the uh, Dutch players, a very fast thrower. Uh, delighted to say Rod Harrington joining us in the commentary box for the first time this afternoon. Afternoon to you, Rod. Good afternoon, Mike. I'm glad you didn't say finally got to the comms box. <laughs> no. no, looking forward to today. What you want to say is when the big boys come out to play. And certainly we're looking forward to some really good darts. And I expect this match to be a real close one. I mean, what Van der Pass has got to do is get over that little bit of slowness that uh, Mensa has because he's a very quick thrower. And all, mind you, all the youngsters nowadays seem to be quick throwers. Yes, it's something he'll uh, have to deal with and make sure it doesn't throw him uh, off his rhythm. Just got to have Take a little, little mention the for um, Mark Barelli. Thought he was first on this evening. Didn't realise that till 12 o'clock today. Yes, he was. He was in the same taxi over here with uh, Dan Dawson. Only about sort of an hour before we <laughs> kicked off. A mistake I fear he will not do again. <laughs> And yes, fairly easy work for Steve Beaton, uh, seeing off Mark Barilli, 6-1. We're underway then here. One. And what a way to start. He seems to be improving tournament on tournament, does Mensa. And because he's slow, Nine some people seconds. say he's only winning because of his slowness. I can assure you it isn't. It's because he can actually throw some exceptional darts. The so odds I'm on this one were Mensa was just the, the favourite. But uh, that Van der Pass has been playing really well himself of late. Ninety-six. He certainly has Benito since winning his tour card at the start of twenty fourteen. We've seen him regularly on the European Tour events. Not had a great deal of success this year. Uh, a couple of second round exits and a couple of first round exits as well. 45. And at the start of the year, reaching the third round of the World Championships at Ali Pali before being beaten by Robert Thornton. 100. We saw Mensur in action last weekend in Frankfurt in the World Cup of Darts with his Austrian teammate, Ralby John Rodriguez. Uh, we'll see Ralby John. And what a game in that was tonight. when he played Adam Hunt yesterday. Yeah, that played was a, very well. Yes, and it should be a cracker tonight. Uh, Rodriguez up against Vincent van der Voort, another fast throw up. 59. Benito, you require 152. Well, although Mental started off with a maximum, Benito, if he finds a treble here, 60. He hasn't, so he may get Mensa, a dart at bullseye. Well, the avenue for the 132 is the bullseye or 25 first. And, uh, well, the most famous one I remember, Michael Van Gerwen, two years ago against Phil Taylor in the semi-finals of the Premier League. Took this out, hit the 57 now, <coughs> and he follows it up the bullseye. And that first dart's not a bad guide. He's, got, he's just seven. pitched into the wrong side of it. And so you require 92. Great effort. Well, he's gone the aggressive route, Mike, and the only problem with that is you're not going to get a dart at a double. 56. Go the 25 route, you guarantee 25. yourself a dart at the bullseye. So a chance for an early break of throw then. Wanting double eight. Silovic. Game's on the first leg. Mensa Silovic. Second leg, Mensa to throw first. Game on. Well, Mensa with uh, the markets is, is pretty good odds on. Get some good odds on Benito at the moment. And I have to say, there might be a few punters who want to have a little little dabble on that, to be <laughs> quite honest. You're moving out to nearly two to one on one that. Round of <laughs> the winner of this one will play either Michael Van Gerwen or William O'Connor in the third round. Michael Van Gerwen on stage this evening. The number one seed who's seen off uh, all before him on the European Tour this year. Four events and four wins. 95. This is more or less only the, the Premier League that Michael's not won since the World Championships. Incredible run that he's uh, been on. 
this year, the young Dutchman. And that conveyor belt of Dutch darting talent shows no sign of uh, letting up with the likes of Benito coming through as well, among plenty of others. 96. Needed to find another trouble there, really. What he's got to hope is that Mensa's not going to hit a treble. A visit without a treble then gives Benito van der Pass a good chance to uh, do something, but that's gone out the window. Will he go 25 or treble 18? He's going for the treble 18. <coughs> the 25 would have given him perhaps two darts of the double when he returns because he'd have wanted 60, 65. Well, Benito has set it up pretty well. So and now Mensa Suleman may only get one dart at a double. But what way is he going to go? <laughs> yes, likes to choose his own way of finishing, does uh, Mensor, But that's uh, fairly orthodox enough. Double three now. This could be awkward. No, not awkward at all. Good, good quality checkout. Benito has put the pressure on. And uh, as I said, you know, Mensa is one of the most improved players on, on the circuit, and he seems to be improving more and more. And great to see such a good crowd in here on a Saturday afternoon. More will come in during the course of the day, I'm sure, and then tomorrow as well, finals day. It's a massive day of darts, the Sunday of these European 60. Tour events. It's incredible, Mike. We're only in a small town here. Isn't it? It's like build it and they will come and oh, they're no. coming out of the trees and out of the woods. I oh, know, these sports arenas all around Germany. <laughs> and that's what they come to see. <laughs> First 1080 for Benito van der Pass. As he looks to get himself up and running in this International Darts Open. That's one of the areas where Mensa is very good at. It doesn't affect him what his opponent hits. One and hundred. if you've got that in your locker, you're always going to be dangerous. It's, it's such a great thing. That's what Van Gerwen's so good at at the moment. He isn't even looking. He doesn't care what you hit. You can go one at his back to back and he's going to follow you. That's what he's got in his head. 60. Yes, you don't tend to see Mensa's sort of demeanour on stage change at all. Just gets on with his game. And he never goes shows about weakness, his business. does he? Oh. Never shows weaknesses. That's a great asset. Never show weakness to your opponent because all you're going to do is make him confident that he's got you. But you don't see that with uh, Mensa. Well, Van der Pass favourite for this leg and to get a leg on the board. Sorry, 100. Benito, you require 88. So he wants the bullseye here. Game and gets the bullseye. Great way to get up and running for Benito van der Pass. That was a better leg there from the Dutchman. A ton 80 and then a ball finish. It has a certain sound, the bullseye, doesn't it? You know, if you'd have closed your eyes there, you'd have known that, that went in the bullseye. It's that solid donk as it goes to find the red bit but <clears throat> Benito he's got to One find hundred. another 12 darter against the throw because you feel that Mensa's is not going to throw many more darts than 15 so needs to find a couple Nine of 140s or a 180 against the throw but just going up there a visit just hitting one treble may not be good enough because this man does not make mess ups very, very often. Well, there's the average. There's not a lot really between the two. One hundred and five. Well, I don't understand that. Mm. He's knocking the one off to make the six there. So when he, he hits another two tons, he's got, you know, but um, I think you, you've just got to pound that treble 20 or treble 19 at that stage of the game. The 25 does not do you. There's not any benefit at all in my eyes. No. But not that I'm going to tell him that. <laughs> 100.
One no. round forty. Well, that's certainly Very has handy put him, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's certainly put him back in the leg, hasn't it? Again, we're in a situation who can go out in six darts from here. Sulevich is going to get the first six. He's pretty good at just pitching over the flight and finding the treble. One hundred. Ninety-six. Men, so you require 96. Well, we see him take out 72 when Benito was actually on a two dart finish. And he's on a three darter, but he doesn't want to let Benito come back to this. But he's so good. I mean, two darts at double 18. Well, the dreaded nines, but he likes that side of the board. 87. Oh, there we are at the nines have let someone down again. So, Benito, so you require 113. This may be one of the best chances that Benito's going to do, have to get himself back in this game. And he's going to get a dart at a double as well. 73. Good effort, mightily Mensu, close. Mensu, you require nine. Mensor back to take out nine. Just having a think probably as to which way he's going to go. Yeah, one for double four then. Game Sean of Hulkland, Mensa Sanovich, fifth leg for the two leg first. lead. Game on. And on average, down between four and five to one on is Sulevich. And Benito's moved out three to one, seven to two against. And the checkout stats are pretty respectable, obviously. Benito hasn't uh, had a chance as much as Sulevich to take out a double with the way the game has gone. 60. Gentlemen, there used to be a great player years ago called Peter Everson who used to do that with the first couple, even three shots. He'd go treble 20, 20, 25. And uh, the only reason he did it was to really annoy his opponent. <laughs> and, you know, just put the opponent just off track with their mind. Well, what's he keep doing that for? What's he keep... Yeah. And Blin just uh, a bit uh, of mind Men games. Yes, but, I mean, Mensa's done it a couple of times. 58. I mean, the argument is, yes, he did leave that 96 in the previous leg, but do you know what? Keep playing them treble 20s, because it may have left 66 instead of 96. One hundred. See the chalk dust uh, coming off the barrels of Mensor's uh, darts. There, we'll go back to the table and have another little rub. One hundred and one. It, it almost looks like they're, they're smoking the darts when they uh, hit the, the board, don't they? When the little uh, puff comes up. Well, Keith Della used to put so much chalk on his darts <laughs> that it used to smother. <laughs> it used to be all around the triple oh. twenty area and around the ball was smothered in it was a smoke screen. Wow. Keith Della's chalk dust. It was. Wasn't it? You didn't know you'd hit the treble until the, the, <laughs> the caller had called it. There was so much chalk dust around it. And he did like patting people on the shoulder as well with all that chalk <laughs> dust on his hands. Then, so, you require so a chance here to break the throw for Sulevich and uh, the way he's been playing, you know, you quite fancy him to hit the treble thirteen if he goes that route. He should do. Yeah. He's been playing so well on setting the shot up there. Two at 16s. 63. Well, can't do it. And, uh, Benito, you require 86. The door back open for Benito, and this would just be for a... On his throat. A great start. He wants double 16. 54. And he can't get it well. Benito, you require 8. Well, the previous leg he had a dart at double top. Now he's had two darts there and could have easily been two legs all. However, Sulevich, unlike the previous leg, he missed two darts at 18s and 9s and stepped up and hit it first dart. And it was a double four he hit first dart as well. You know, he's in that mode where you don't think he's going to miss too often. Oh, well, as I say that, and he can't believe it, so another chance. Well, that's Benito, the hope to throw. Sometimes when you nick a leg and your opponent has messed up, it puts you 
on the up. So a little smile there from Benito as well. Game shot of fifth leg. Reducing Benito, the arrears to 3 2. Six leg men to the throw first. Game on. It all got a little bit scrappy, but Benito, a little chuckle to himself. I think he didn't expect to be uh, given another chance there. Do you, know, do you know what? Sometimes what happens in games like this where one player is dominating and just keeps missing to really get control in the game, all of a sudden the other player fires in a couple of good legs and then all of a sudden he, he moves on to win the game. We see it so often. Well, we see it. Michael Van Gerwen was a typical example in Dubai. He never led any match until the 17th leg. <laughs> that's right, yeah. And at times, really every, that, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. every player had chances to get even further ahead. Of him. And, they, and they failed to do so and Michael just kept... Running along, running along, and all of a sudden, at the right time, just put the afterburner in and ends up winning. Yes, the increasingly busy calendar with the World Series events now added, and Japan the next uh, 60. stop, isn't it, for the top players heading down there. Well, now, well, that's the three darts that Benito wanted. Now, certainly, getting home from 167 with two visits is far easier than the 211, so Sulovic is going to need two trebles himself here. May go... Well, he can't go 25, because that, that does not help him whatsoever. He'd go for the 51, if anything. 99. Well. Benito, you require 167. Oh, wanted the treble 19, which would have left oh, him bullseye. I can't believe he's rushed that going back up again. And that really, you know, mistakes like that, Mike, are going to cost you legs and cost you matches. And if, if Benito goes on to lose his leg and lose the match in the end, that could be the area where he's missed it. Double 16. Oh, that was 4 2. <laughs> he can't Benito, believe it. you require 83. Well, he should be coming back. Guaranteed a dart of the double. Oh, it is going to be a dart at double nine. 65. But it should have been at a double 16 Mentioned or a double 12. Yeah, had no. he not to fluff that last uh, yeah, the five, shot of the previous the five killed visit. Him. So, Mensur Sulevich goes again. Double eight. Game and gets it that time. Six leg. Mensur Sulevich, seventh leg. Benito to throw first. Game on. We see it so often, Mike, don't we? The quick players, when they're going from the 20s down to the 19s and back up again. Nine There's a lot of times when one of those darts has missed the big number because of the speed. When they're on form, they're a joy to watch. But now and again, you've just got to, you know, at a crucial time like that for Benito. Eighty-five. Ninety six. Well, now out to on average nine or two, five to one on. A lot of value if you're a Benito van der Pass fan and still think he's going to get away with this. But that last leg, eighty five for me, kind of was a, one of the nails in the coffin. Massive chance to get the throw back and get control of the game. One on round Thirty-nine. That was a better visit from Van der Pass, leaving himself the biggest outshot of all, 170. One hundred and thirty-nine. And it's only required one hundred and seventy. He's got six darts here. Uh, one hundred and thirty-four. Great pick off on the nineteen treble bed so we'll want double 18 when he returns 100. well we say it so often Mike the double 36. 18 every player loves but the switch to the nines is not very good but he hasn't got to do that a good 13 dark leg on the throw but this is the leg for Benito van der Pass you feel he needs to take this leg because Sulevich will be coming back 
after this leg to throw first and he has been pretty good Well, another chance. Well, Mensa has a little stare of some people. Dutch fans in the audience. 81. Well, you can see the expression on, on Benito's face there. You know, the 81 doesn't scare anybody. Even a straight ton, you know, the three noughts up there just gives you a little bit of a scare. But 81, he has not punished Mensa at all on 60. that. And again, a visit without a treble. So now this is where you whack in a 140. 100. Well, he has to settle for a ton. And you do wonder whether there might be a few more twists and turns in this uh, second round match. Still yet. I, th I think, as you say, Rod, this could be a crucial leg that could determine the outcome of this match. 100. Of that it still keeps just over 60 points in the lead, but a ton plus for Sulevich may just give him the advantage in this leg. 100 because Sulevich may get a dart at the bullseye with his sixth dart. Oh, Benito, oh, just about to say, 85. don't miss. <laughs> Excuse me, that big number again, and he's done exactly that. Yeah, a stray into the single five. Sixty. And, and he's 60 only there from Mensor, so thirty-five. Good chance to break the throw. Forty-five. And bring us all square at four apiece. And so you require 126. That is tough luck, isn't it? You know, he misses a big number with the previous three, and that one hits the bullseye wire and has cost him a dart of the double. However, he may get a... Well, he will, should get a dart at the bullseye. We have seen players go the 25 route, uh, with the 90. And so you require 90. I don't advise it. The treble 20 is the route here for me. No, another 20. Throw this at double top. Don't even attempt the treble 20. That's exactly what he's done. Now the bullseye's already hit it once in this match. 65. It was a solid donk, but it wasn't the middle donk. 28. <laughs> well, we don't see... This is like... You can buy money with this. You know he's going to hit it because he never misses the 28, does he? To go to within one leg of victory. Double 14 is just wow. inside. Double seven. Yeah, oh, gets it that time. Then He's happy. Ninth leg. Benito to throw first. Came on. It's been a tough lesson for Benito van der Pass in this game. He's had chances. But a few missed big numbers. That, you, know, you can't foresee a bounce out. I mean, that's just bad luck. Coming up next, it's the number four seed, Brendan Dolan, up against Robert Marianovic, one of the 16. European qualifiers who whitewashed former Lakeside World Champion Christian Kiss 6-0 yesterday in the first round. That was one of the shocks of the first round, really. Played very well, did uh, Marianovic. 100. Yes, he had just under an 80% on doubles, didn't he? He just didn't miss doubles. Well, it was a real bad day at the office for Kist. Well, well, at the moment, it's not been a great day at the office for Benito van der Pass, but he still isn't out of this match. Well, Make sure you require 167. This then for the match. 
And a place in round three against either Michael Van Gerwen or William O'Connor. 59. When he told you require 80. Needs to hit this to stay alive. Well, I think he was going two double tops there. Game shot. And does so. When it's over, and the pass. Tenth well, and the, the pass is still first. in this match. Game on. It's Mensa Sulovic to step up to throw for the match and if ever Van der Pass wants a 12 dart leg he's got to find one right now because you wow, wow, well, especially now you don't feel that Sulevich is going to use any more than 15 no, it, 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 it's solid isn't it from Sulevich tons ton 40s tons ton 40s what a round of 40 well, you don't solid, really often... solid steady yes. play Exactly. You don't see him very often seen throw 103, 104 averages, <clears throat> but he seems to do solid things at great times in a match, and and that's what that's why he's won so many this year. He's, he's done really well. 85. Well, Van der Pass needs another 140, and again, 41. A missed number. And that couldn't have come at a worse time. Sixty. No man's just acknowledging some idiot in the crowd. You're always going to get the odd one. Oh, this would help Van der Pass, and he has what a time to sling in a maximum. And now the game has changed, and certainly the odds have as well. Yeah, it's only his second 180 of the match at Van der Pass, but what a time to pull it out after a poor visit from Sulevich. And again, he's struggling to find a big treble here on this occasion. 44, and it's only require 140. Well, both players are around five to six on now, and he wants the double 10. Get double 10 shot, it is! I said he needed a 12 dark when leg, that's exactly pass. what he's done. The 11th and final 180 leg, Benito followed the by first. the 140 Came check out, and now it's Benito van der Pass that has gone odds on at one time. Wow, Mr. Right Sula, which was around about 31. seven to eight to one on. Yeah. Uh, it At just times. looked so unlikely that Benito van der Pass was going to find a, a way back in. It was just one-way traffic in favour of Sulevic, but 60. fair play to Benito for hanging on in there. And what a time to dig out a ton 80 and then a 140. 83. I'm interesting to see. Let's see how. Sulevich responds. Poor start to the leg. Just 60. This is better. 100. Well, it's in Benito van der Pass's hands now. He should be down to that double first. It's all a question. He can get over the line. You can see in his face he needed a treble. However, he's still got a ton plus. He's got three darts lead on Sulevich. Even if this goes in the treble, it's not going to hurt him. May have nine darts from here. As Sulevich would have to go out in six from two, four, four. One hundred. Well, we see Van der Pass in the previous leg hit a one eighty to really take control. Can Sulevich do the same? Well, he might just well, you know. Wow, oh, ten forty. Ready to require one hundred and twenty-seven. He wants the bullseye for the match. And what a way to finish. An incredible turnaround from Benito van der Pass. The last two legs of the match, absolutely top draw. Turning it around and seeing off Sulevich 6-5. So Benito van der Pass will take on either Michael van Gerwen, the number one seed, or Willie O'Connor in round three tomorrow. We'll hear a few words with him, uh, with John McDonald, our MC before we bring you the next match. Wow. Brendan Dolan again.